I'm Mrs. Chapman, and welcome to Introduction to Matrices. In a matrix, you have your rows, which in this case we have two rows, and then you have your columns. And in this case, we have two columns. We write the dimensions, rows, by columns, which makes us a two by two matrix. And just so we're clear, the rows go across and the columns go up and down. This is also known as a square matrix because the numbers inside or the elements form a square two by two. Another type of square matrix is a three by three, a four by four, five by five, or in other words, when the number of rows is the same as the number of columns. We have special matrices. Some of the special matrices, one is called a row matrix. In a row matrix, that's exactly what you have. You have one row. Notice we have four columns. In a row matrix, it doesn't matter how many columns you have as long as you only have one row. Then they have what they call a column matrix. And this is where you have one column. I like to remember the columns because there's an L and it, they go up and down. Um, once again, it doesn't matter how many rows you have as long as you have one column. We also have what we call a zero matrix the number of rows or columns doesn't matter as long as every element in a matrix is zero they also have equal matrices if I can get that to work there we go and in an equal matrices, let's have a two by three here, meaning two rows and three columns. And the only way they can be equal is not only is it the same number of rows Notice I have two rows, three columns, but my elements correspond with each other. They're in the same position. One equals one, two equals two, three equals three, four equals four, five equals five, and six equals six. They're in the same position. Anything else is not a corresponding matrix. If they have different dimensions, if they have different elements, they are not corresponding. Therefore, they are not equal.